Yo, 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 what it is, it's your boy Susu Sule with day one of the come up, new video style as y'all can see, today we're talking about the power of attractiveness, and also, you know, before we get right into the video, I'm just give y'all the training I'm doing today, so if you want to do that, you know, get like Sue and all that, there you go, ain't no gatekeeper out here, I'm just a dude trying to help, so anyways, back to the topic, the power of being attractive, what do you need to do to become attractive? Uh, you got to learn how to speak. You got to learn how to dress. You got to embrace your personality, you know, be your most authentic self. And obviously, of course, you know, improve your body and fitness by getting lean and muscular <clears throat> in all the right places, of course. And also get money, which, of course, becomes easier by being attractive. And, you know, when you have money and all these other things, it just becomes easier to be attractive. And when all you have all these things working together for you, you know, you just you become a force of nature. You know, and like, you know, people are going to say it's shallow, you know, why focus on being attractive? And sure, you can say it's shallow, but at the end of the day, humans are visual creatures. You know, why should you try to become more attractive? Because you're going to feel more confident, you know, you don't have people for one, you're going to be confident in yourself because you're going to look in the mirror and be like, damn, I look good. But two, people are going to be giving you compliments. You're going to feel better about yourself. You're going to be like, oh, OK, you know, they if they see something good in me, then maybe I can start to see something good in myself. So, you know, your confidence is going to increase. And not only that, but just, you know, like I said, people are visual. We are visual. We want to see nice things. We want to be around nice things. And, of course, uh, when it comes to people, it's no different. We want to be around nice looking people. You know, would you rather be around a bunch of ugly people or a bunch of attractive people? It sounds shallow, but really, just think about it. Who would you rather be around? Like, objectively speaking, let's say these people aren't your friends or anything. Just people in general. Obviously, you want to be around more attractive people. Now, not only this, but being attractive is going to give you, it's just going to give you a lot more opportunity in jobs. And this is going to lead to more money. So think about it this way. When you are attractive, let's say you and another person are the exact same, except you have like a nice jawline or whatever, and you got a good body. And this person, you know, is just a bit more nerdy, he's just skinny, they don't really work out or anything like that. You guys have the same credentials. Exact same, exact same skill set, exact same everything. Who's going to get the job? Obviously, the attractive person. Because if you everything is the same, but you're just attractive as well, it's just like, why not hire this guy? He just seems cooler. You know, he looks like he takes care of himself. Maybe I could learn something from him on how to be more healthy. Stuff like that. And not only that, but being attractive, it's just healthier. Like, literally, you're just healthier because you have more muscle. You know, you probably work out and all that. It's just healthier. You have lower body fat, all that stuff. So not only is it cool, just, you know, is it like helpful just on a social status sort of thing, but also on the notion of just, you know, pure health, physiology, biology, whatever you want to call it. Now, how do we become more attractive? That's where I come in. OK, so obviously, number one, work out, lift weights three times a week, play sports as much as you can. You know, make sure to sprint, go on walks frequently. You know, I would say I recommend like sprinting like at least two to three times a week and lifting weights. You don't need to do you don't need to lift more than three times a week because anything more than that, it just becomes a bit excessive. You start getting into that, you know, bodybuilder territory. So I would pass on that. Next, eat clean. Obviously, this is simple. y'all. I'll be talking about this all the time, you know, intermittent fast, because also Fasting is going to uh, improves like HGH, which is pretty much the youth hormone. When you fast, you tap into this HGH, it gets stimulated. And now you have all this HGH pumping through your body. You got all this youth hormone. It makes it easier to build muscle, lose fat, and you look more attractive. But anyways, back to eating clean, you know, just eat fruits, veggies, lean meats, good proteins. Uh, eat clean carbs like let's say like potatoes. Obviously, fruits and veggies are clean carbs. And also, you know, like clean oats. Don't overdo it with those, though. And just stay away from the processed foods and fast foods, you know. Look, I would love a McDonald's sponsorship, but I'm probably never going to get one. So, look, don't be eating the McDonald's. Don't be eating the Burger King. Stay away even from Chipotle. Like, just don't don't be eating out a lot. Like, you can say whatever you want, but a lot of these fast food places, they, they're filled with, like, seed oils. Just a bunch of ingredients that you could never even name or think to name. So, I would just recommend staying away from that. And next, obviously, you want to recover. Recovery is key because recovery, that's where all the transformation takes place. You know, you can go to the gym, but if you're not sleeping, if you're not recovering properly, nothing is going to change because it's when you sleep that all these new muscle cells get generated and all that. 
So in order to recover, you know, just start sleeping more, get at least seven hours of sleep per night, hit the sauna four times a week for 15 minutes, three to four times a week. I personally just go once a week and I'll go for like an hour straight because just to save time, I don't like to go over and over. <laughs> do cold exposure, something I do a lot. Obviously, I take a cold shower every morning, but in addition to that, I'll get like a bowl of ice and just like dip my face in it. And honestly, I don't really know what it does, but it feels cool. I feel like I look cool. I feel like Patrick Bateman, so I'm going to keep doing it. Also, make sure to do yoga and stretching. This stuff is really important. It keeps you loose and also it helps you deal with just uncomfortable situations. That's the whole point of yoga, you know. Put yourself in an uncomfortable position and just learn to breathe and move with it and flow with it. And obviously, get massages. Just relax your body, you know. Learn to meditate <laughs> because uh, a lot of um, aging is honestly just due to stress. So if you can manage your stress, you know, literally release tension, which is stress from your muscles, from your body. It's going to literally release stress from your mind and you're just going to feel a lot more calm while moving through life. And a couple more things that you can do to be more attractive is just embrace your personality and be authentic. You know, everyone got their gift to give. <clears throat> and if you're limiting yourself and, you know, being shy to be who you are, you're limiting. I mean, like I said, you're limiting yourself. And not only that, but you're doing a disservice to the world. So just embrace your personality, your flaws and all and just be authentic. Trust me, you'll have way more fun and people will also appreciate you a lot more because, you know, people can feel that authenticity. And uh, next, obviously, improve your style. If you don't know, like what you want your style to be, just look at people online and iterate. Don't imitate, iterate, you know, take what they did and make it your own, add your own style, your own flair to it. Because, I mean, that's all that life really is. It's just, you know, copying a little bit here and there and then just adding your own style and flavor to it. Nothing new under the sun. And last, last piece of advice I'll give you is just to talk to more people and get comfortable being charismatic. Just, you know, when you talk to people, just try to make an impact on the day, leave your mark on them and just, you know, try to have fun with it. Like, just learn how to talk to people. You know, it's a lot of fun, especially when you go to like stores and whatnot. You'll never see these people again. Just, you know, try out new things to say and whatnot. See what works. But anyways, y'all, that's all for the video. It's your boy, Susu Sule. I'm out. Check the link in the bio for the method. And yeah, I'm out.